because I'm not gonna lie, I was, I was out the door through with it. friends welcome back to my channel it's your girl Char and I am back with another video if you're new here make sure to like comment and subscribe y'all it is Friday I'm super super excited that it's the weekend I have had a long and exhausting week so I'm so happy that it is the weekend y'all my hair looks crazy but that's okay because we're about to fix it y'all I'm about to show y'all me trying out Olaplex for the very very first time y'all I'm super super excited I've never tried Olaplex I got let me show y'all what I got Okay, guys, I put it down on the counter so y'all can see. So three, four, and five. So three is supposed to be like a pre-poo. So this is the hair protect perfecter. The directions say that it goes before you shampoo your hair. Some of the TikTok girlies have been saying to do it after you shampoo and condition, but I'm going to follow the instructions because this is my first time. Then you have four, which is the shampoo, and then you have five, which is the maintenance conditioner. So yeah, I'm super, super excited to be using this for the very first time. I also got this mini of the Briogeo Don't Depair don't despair repair mask so i heard that this was super good as well except the full size is 38 dollars. so i was like i'm not about to fully commit unless i know that i like it so i found the mini in 14 dollars, and the minis of the olaplex shampoo and conditioner is 14 dollars as well and then i have the mini of the number three which is not 14 dollars. so the number three is their most popular um step into the process system so i feel like that's why the mini is like the same price of the full size they don't carry a full size in sephora so god only knows what price the, the full size is compared to the other ones but y'all i'm super super excited to use it so yeah that's what i'm about to do i'm about to get into this kitchen the curls y'all it is stretched my ponytail is looking lifeless dull and dry but that's okay because Olaplex is about to revive it and y'all just the tea on Olaplex is supposed to be for like colored damaged dull brittle hair I don't have color but I do feel like my hair is damaged dull and brittle so I can stand to use a little revitalization after I have soak pressed my hair I've soak pressed my hair like twice in 2022 and we only got like three months 2022 so I really think that this will help just help my curls just bounce back so I'm gonna try Olaplex first See how I like it. I'm gonna try it a couple of times because you know I need to really make sure I get it in there good to see if I really like it. And I'm a product junkie, so I really want to make sure that I fully commit before I go out and buy some new products. So I'm gonna try it first and then we'll see how we like it. Fingers crossed. So yeah, I'm gonna take y'all with me, let y'all see the tea. Fingers crossed it works. Okay, y'all. So I had to fully submerge my hair into wire because it says to apply this on damp towel dried hair and do it from scalp to end so i felt like it would be easier to just fully submerge my hair into water because it's tangled it says to leave on for a minimum of 10 minutes i'm gonna do 20 you know because i always like to test the water so i'm gonna take this down detangle it and just add it into each section like i would add like my leave-in conditioner into a wash and go Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, it's not gonna be enough. I mean, we're to right here, but I feel like, can y'all see? A little line, we're right here, but I feel like I used a lot. It's not gonna be enough. So I let it sit in for 20 minutes. So I let it cook. I put it under my deep conditioning cap, and we're about to take it down. Rinse it out and then we're going to go in with four and shampoo and then we're going to go in 
with five and let that sit for about what to say 30 minutes it's not a long time so <laughs> also i will say once i was putting this on it felt you could smell it and i could just feel it working on my hair if that makes sense so i'm really excited to see the results so let's get into it no it look real it look real good I still got some stingy heat damage, but that, whatever. So the girl that I saw on YouTube, she said to rinse this out with lukewarm water. I'm tempted to rinse it out with cold water. Let me see what the back says to make sure if I lock it in. Maybe we'll do cold in the middle, like a little cold hot. I guess that's lukewarm. Okay, let's get to it. So I have finished my hair. I just did like a little bootleg wash and go, y'all. I kind of have to do some off camera because if y'all just want my full old plex wash and go, just let me know. But yeah, I finished it and y'all, let me just say, I only used it one time and I can already tell the difference because when I rinsed out the number three, my hair already seemed to moisturize and way thicker than it did when I was putting it and applying this product. But I will say, I don't think it's going to be enough. I said that before, I'm going to say it again. I don't think it's going to be enough. But y'all, I'm going to give this some more tries. This is a little bootleg wash and go, so I didn't really go through each piece kind of like I wanted to. I just wanted to see, and I'm hungry and want to watch Love Splat of Me. Let me know if y'all watch that comment section below. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to get this through my hair. This is the shedding that I did before I put the Olaplex in. Post Olaplex, we ain't got nothing for real. Well, let's see. This is from a brush that already has some stuff in it, so this may not be accurate, but this little ball. So hopefully, as I continue to use it, it'll be less shedding. But yeah, we're gonna monitor this, do it maybe once a week. If we can see how it goes, because I don't know if it'll be too much protein, but yeah, we'll see. And I'll show y'all how it looks when it's dry tomorrow. Hey y'all, happy Saturday. I have just gotten back from the gym, showered, about to make me some breakfast. But y'all, I've taken off my satin cap from last night. So I wore like my little head wrap to the gym when I woke up this morning. So I left that on and then I got home, took a shower and the humidity, the steam from the shower, I closed the door and took my cap off kind of just to make my hair a little bigger. And y'all, this Olaplex, this combo, y'all, my hair looks so moisturized. There's not a frizz in sight now i haven't picked it out i haven't like fluffed it out for real yet and day one wash and go hair is always a drab okay but we're not even gonna focus on that but my hair it just looks like so moisturized and at first i thought that the tiktok girls and the youtubers were just hyping this product but y'all now i'm a believer and i can't wait to continue to use it and see how it's going to transform my hair and make me fall in love with my natural hair again because i'm not gonna lie i was i was out the door through with it but yeah so now today i just have a few errands to run very chill don't really have much going on i just got a package from skims well, I ordered it, they sent it to me, but I'm going to manifest. They're going to send me some stuff soon. But yes, I just got a package from Skims. I'm going to open it now to see. Y'all, I'm very basic. It wasn't that much stuff that I got. But let me show y'all what I got from them. Okay, so I got a set. 
And if you know me, you know, anybody that know me is I, I love a set. Like, I love a top and a bottom that goes together. I just feel like it's so much easier to pick out your outfit from that. So, I just got a small little set from them, a small order. Here it is. And I would have done a TikTok if it was more than this one set here, but that's all right, y'all. So, I got cotton rib boxer in the color bone and extra small and i also got the cotton rib tank to match in an extra small so let me show y'all what it looks like outside of the packaging okay y'all so this is what it looks like it's just the cotton rib tank and then the cotton ribbed boxer so y'all I kind of have a tank set from them already in like that blue I think it's called like a granite color like that bluish gray but the tank the back of it is kind of like more like a razor back than this and it has like a higher neckline so I guess this is different from what I already have I'm going to continue to add stuff throughout the summer and y'all I'm really trying to work on building like a capsule wardrobe I have a notes section in my phone that has all of these things that I just like need like I have a bunch of clothes in my closet with tags on them and then when I'm trying to like go somewhere and figure out what to wear it with I don't have the essential items that I need to wear with it if that makes sense so it's like I'm just buying clothes but it's stuff that I could wear but like I'll have the the set and not the right pair of shoes or I have the top and the pants don't fit no more as y'all know I'm on a weight gain journey so it's kind of been difficult but here is my little notes thing I got clothes section a shoe section accessories bags as well so these are just little things that i'm trying to build my wardrobe with and skims is one of them for the summer i think it's very very easy to just grab and go so that's what i got from skims and also today i am going to go to the shoe store because i got these super cute heels from aldo let me show y'all they're so cute i got them on sale so they're kind of like a square toe. Mm, this looks raggedy <laughs> because I've worn them. But, but let me tell you why I look raggedy. This sling bag looks raggedy. So I've worn them. I wore them on Valentine's Day when we went to dinner. And it was very cute. However, common, the problem is this little sling bag part, I guess my ankle. I have a really narrow foot, but it's sliding down on my ankle. So it was kind of like a flip. It was like flip flopping up. And I didn't get it fixed in time enough before Valentine's Day. So... Mom said I can just take it to the shoe store and get them to fix the strap and like re-stitch this part. As you guys can see, that little stitch part. So mom said I could get it fixed, but I thought it was just me with my narrow foot. And my best friend also got these pair of shoes as well. And she said it was doing the same thing to her. So I'm going to get these fixed today. But yeah, that's what's on the agenda for real, y'all. I don't really got much going on. Um, I'm about to make me some breakfast, some grits, eggs, and maybe sausage or bacon. That's like my favorite like weekend meal. So I'm about to make that. And then I think I'm going to make my protein shake as well with my breakfast. Because on the weekend, my meal plan, I'm supposed to have a protein shake every day. But on the weekend, sometimes it gets a little it gets a little hard to keep up. Because you know I'm on the go. I don't have time to stop, find a blender, and make my shake. So <laughs> I'm about to do that and just get that out the way. I think I'm going to show y'all how I make my shake as well. Because y'all are in the comments saying that y'all would like a weight gain video. And it's coming. I'm just trying to get to my goal weight which hopefully it'll be by april i'm only like seven pounds away and i'm gonna show y'all give y'all all the tea but yeah let me show y'all how i make my protein shake and i'm about to make my breakfast Y'all, it's like, let me see the time. 9.27? I left the house at like 2.30. Y'all, it turned out to be a pretty eventful day, I must say. I'm not going to hold y'all. So after I went to the shoe store, I said that I was going to go to H&M because there was a standalone H&M in this really, really cute um, shopping center that I was near that was near the shoe store the parking was really crazy over there and 
it took me forever to find a parking spot. But once I found a parking spot, I went to H&M and I didn't see nothing. So I was, I really was going to turn around. I was so agitated. I was like, turn around because I couldn't find a parking spot forever. But then once I finally found a parking spot, I'm like, I'm going to stick to it. I'm not going to let this control my mood. I went to H&M, found nothing. I almost bought something just because, but I, it wasn't even anything cute for real. I didn't even feel like trying it on. But I did get some Starbucks for my troubles. And then after that, I went to the mall to go to Zara. And my bestie ended up meeting me at the mall. I got a few things. So I got this outfit. Y'all know how I was talking about my wardrobe list on my note section. It wasn't in that. It wasn't in it. It was nothing that it was on my list. But it's so set. So... It's something that I can match with in my closet. I think it'd be super cute for spring. And I also got this cute workout set from Forever 21. Let me show y'all real quick. So y'all, this is the set that I got from Zara. It's from the Limitless Contour Collection, which I love, which is their very like affordable quality basics. So it's this lavender kind of like mock neck top with these leggings and it's a really really pretty color i'm trying to start slowly adding more color to my wardrobe so my bestie met me at the mall and she was saying that i could probably wear this on my birthday trip on the stuff that i do for my birthday but with some white strappy i don't know white heels nude heels i think it'll be very very cute and also very cute for like sunday fun day or cute saturday night out well not saturday night out but y'all a saturday day out yeah so i think that this, this will be very very cute i am gonna try it on or whatever and i'm thinking of doing a zara like spring haul so whenever i get like my basics for zara I'm going to try this on so you guys can see. So I'm hoping it's really, really cute. But I have so many things from their Limitless Contour Collection that I know it's going to be bomb. And then I got this workout set. Oops, let me throw that over there. I got this workout set from Forever 21. I've been working out a lot, as you guys know. And I feel like sometimes when I go to the gym, I just wear, like, leggings and a T-shirt, like a big T-shirt. You know the T-shirts that you just collect over your lifetime. So I've just been wearing that. But, y'all, I've kind of been over that. And I want to be cuter in the gym, especially when it's getting hotter outside. So this set was on sale. I got this top for $9. Super cute with the matching leggings. Like, how cute is this? So I was very, very happy that I found this, y'all. I'm showing this to y'all. So janky. But it's very, very cute. The pattern matches the sports bra. So I'm super, super excited to wear this. Then after that, we went to Cheesecake Factory and we just ended up chatting and having girl talk per usual like besties do. And so, yeah, it was a pretty lengthy day, but good nonetheless. Now I'm home and I'm about to chill. My little sister is on the way over here. You guys love her. So when she gets here, I will let you see her. She's in town. Spring break. So she's just doing a little stop by, spend the night, and then she'll be out back to her college in the morning. So when she get here, I'm going to let y'all see her. And also... If you peeped, I haven't done my protein shake yet today, which is usual for my Saturday. So what I think I'm going to do is, because I promised y'all that I would show y'all, I'm going to show y'all. And that's going to hold me accountable and make sure that I actually drink the protein shake and take it today. So I'm going to show y'all that when she gets here. All right, y'all. I couldn't find my keys, but we about to go get my little sister from downstairs. I got to let her in. Hey, dummy. <laughs> y'all i got something to tell you i got Don't something that i gotta tell you you know how i said i was gonna make a protein shake shake for snack she surprised me with a wendy sprite <laughs> Dr. so i'm gonna make that I in the morning you, nothing. you did she it called me and asked me to get her a wendy sprite. whoops okay but i'm gonna make the protein shake in the morning signing off okay y'all my sister brought me a Dr. Pepper and a small fry from Wendy's. I said it was a surprise, but I called and asked her for it because you know what? It's the weekend, so I'm going to pick back up with that protein shake in the morning. But for now, I'm signing off for the rest of the night. I'm about to spend some time with my lovely little sister. Why is she acting safe? You want me on camera? No. Okay, baby, we're going to sign off. Mm-hmm.
natural disasters My baby has been around for me Kingdoms have fallen Angels be calling None of that could ever make me leave Hey y'all, good morning I'm finally drinking my shake today. So I just showed y'all how I do my protein shake. I'll make sure that I leave the ingredients down in the description box below. Pro tip, I always like to put the oats in first so that it's blended really, really well. Because sometimes it can be chalky, but y'all be going for gains. So that's all we need. But y'all, thank you for watching this vlog. I'm about to wrap it up and enjoy the rest of my day. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the little mini weekend vlog. I'm really trying to get better with vlogging and show you guys a little bit more of my personality. So yeah, thank you for sticking around. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.